Right. Yep. Let's do this. Saturday, 335 on NBC. That's 335 Central, God's time zone. The Vikings at the 49ers. Now, Pacific time, this is an early game. Now, I'm kind of surprised that they well, did this. It's a noon game. Yeah, on a Saturday. Okay. It's more like all the Pac-12 plays. Yeah, but I, I just I found it weird. Like, the 49ers obviously get a bit of an advantage here because, first off, the Vikings played on Sunday in New Orleans, and now they have to play Saturday afternoon in San Francisco. I mean, they just got to fly all over creation here. Um, Covering a lot of real estate, racking yeah. up some airline miles. You got that right. 49ers are a seven-point favorite. Uh, let, me, let me read off my notes here. Uh, unlike the Saints... The 49ers do not have PTSD of getting beat on the last play in the playoffs for umpteen something straight years. Uh, the Vikings need Cousins to make championship throws again, otherwise they will not win this game because they they got to be able to throw to get those guys like back out of the line of scrimmage because I think the 49ers are going to do anything they can to stop Dalvin Cook. Um and then I've got D Ford returns. Nick Bosa can blow up the line. Can the Vikings cover Kittle? Now, is there anything that I've missed in this game? <laughs> no. No. I mean, Minnesota's hot right now. Yeah. They're really hot. They're, they're really hot because of one week. The though. 49ers have been yeah, well, yeah, they're hot right now. Yeah. The 49ers have been have been defensively one of the best teams all year. Haven't been like Lately, like at the end of the season, it didn't feel like. Like it felt like they were vulnerable. And if if Cousins is throwing the ball against them the way that he was against the Saints, then the Vikings are going to be a hard out. Problem is, is he had time against the Saints. He's not going to have time against the 49ers. I agree with you 100%. I mean, that's the issue is, is the Saints couldn't get pressure. Yeah. And, and so I he was able to hit will. deep passes – that aren't they're just not going to be there because you can't you can't wait in the pocket that long. No, not against this team you can't. No, you're right. Now that doesn't mean they can't move the ball on them. That doesn't mean they can't score. That doesn't mean they can't win the game. It just means that you're not going to sit back there all day and wait for Thielen to get open forty yards down the field. Now I think that obviously Thielen can run shorter routes. Like he's a yes. good route runner. No, no, he's no. a great no, catcher of the football. Like I said. What killed the Saints was they could not cover the deep ball. Yeah. On multiple occasions when the Vikings needed a big play, they took the top off of the defense. And, and probably Cousins, because Cousins could sit back there. And Cousins was able to make the throws that he hasn't normally made in the past. Why didn't he make them in the past? Because he had pressure and he doesn't do well with pressure. Guess what? That's not a knock on him. No quarterback does well with pressure. Yeah. None of them like it. Except for Joe Burrow. <laughs> this year anyway. Um but yeah, so I like to win this game, I fully believe Cousins is going to have to hit some passes yes. down the field. He's going to have to somehow I think they're also going to if I was them, I would try to get the screen game going. You've got to find a way to slow down the pass rush. Yeah. You just you just have to. Cuz this pass rush is nasty and the problem is is you don't necessarily have to always stop Bosa or the edge guys or whatever because the 49ers front, I mean, they get you from the middle. They'll come at you from the A-gap yeah. with nose tackles. Yeah, they, they – I mean, their, they their front seven is scary, and that's that's the only part of this game that I think is such a big advantage for one team that leads me down the road of I think I like – I think I like the 49ers. All right, so so official pick. I've got the 49ers minus seven here. I, yeah. Are you doing the same thing? I do, too. I do, too. I, I don't like the points, I, but I cannot, A, trust Cousins two weeks in a row. And even if I do trust him, I've seen teams play great games against the 49ers this year and still get beat, still come yeah. up short. No, you're you're right. You're right. Uh, and, and it's a touchdown, I, I think, they are going to be uh, just I, I already have at the mouth. A little bit of this is, is confirmation bias on my part. I, I already have a, a, a Super Bowl bet 
on uh, two teams making the Super Bowl together. So, on two teams making the well, yeah, an AFC team and an NFC team making the Super Bowl. So a parlay bet on the championship winners. Ravens 49ers? No. No? Uh, am I supposed to guess here? Well, no, because we're going to get to that game and you'll find out when we cover the rest of them. Okay. Okay. But I, I'm, I'm going to guess 49ers. Well, yes. The 49 I okay. just said that. The 49ers. Oh, that. Sorry. The 49ers are my NFC, NFC representative. representative. So I don't know if they'll cover every game, but I have them winning the next two. Okay. All right, and being the NFC representative in